Hi, boys and girls, and welcome to today's video. Today, we're going to do something a little bit unique, um, and we're going to learn a little bit more about art history, my favorite. We're going to be recreating famous art pieces using photography. So I'm going to give you a couple options with this one. Don't worry, I'm going to show you, um, I think I have about... 13 um, examples of how to do this. Now you can use any of the pictures that I'm using in this art or in this um, slideshow, or you can go ahead and do some personal research and find any um, art, famous art pieces, any historical art pieces that maybe we've learned about in class. Um, or that you've seen before in your regular life, and you can recreate that using photography. So what you're going to do is you're going to try to stage a photo that looks similar to a famous art piece. So I know it's kind of hard for us to imagine this in our head. So I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what that looks like. So as you can see with this one, um, so some of these have kids in them, some of them have adults in them, obviously. It's gonna be you guys taking the picture. Now, if you don't have anyone taking the picture for you, you can use um, your webcam. It has a little timer on it if you're using your computer. So it'll do a three, two, one countdown you can do in front of it. You could do a selfie if you're using a phone, or if you're really lucky and you have a mom or dad or brother or sister or grandma or any other family member to take the picture for you, that'll help too. But as you can see, she's just wearing a black top, kind of like in this picture. And silly, she uses toilet paper as the big ruffles around her neck. So it doesn't look exactly the same, but I'm not looking for it to be perfect. I'm looking for your interpretation. This one, you can see we have the woman with a cloak over her head holding her baby. But in this picture, we just have a woman with, she uses a towel instead and has her puppy. Super cute. I love that one. This one, this is a pretty close representation. Um, you have even the pearl earring going on, the blue headband, and then the beige scarf and the beige jacket. So that one's a really good one. You can see this girl is trying to make the facial expression in the painting. Really great recreation. I like this one a lot, um, a Frida Kahlo painting. Um, we have her original self-portrait with the birds, but then in this version, we have the cleaning supplies, um, but using the same colors as the birds in this image. I love that one. thought that was really creative. This one, um, you have the lord and lady standing over here they look like they're some sort of royal person and you can see his outfit is pretty close to this guy but he has looks like some sort of bucket on his head instead of a hat which is pretty adorable and my favorite part is that she's using a sleeping bag <laughs> as a dress and then has a little t-shirt over her head to represent this little bonnet so that one's that one's cute they even back here have like a plate hanging to look like the mirror. They have the red uh, red chair to so emulate the red chair in the bed. They Oh, wow. They even have a little chandelier hanging. They really went all out. They have the little beads here, the beads here, the little table with the oranges, the table with the oranges. Wow. The rug right here, the rug right there. Oh my gosh, I just noticed this. There's a little dog and a little shoe in the front and they have a little shoe and a little dog too. Oh, I love that. They really went all out with the details in this one. This one, you can see it's another Frida Kahlo painting. We have, um, looks like a mom and her kiddos instead of with the monkeys, which I think is super cute. Maybe if your whole family is a good sport, you could get them involved. I think that's, that's a pretty cool one. This one, we have the girl looking at her little notebook or a little book. And then this one, she's dressed very similarly, but she's looking at her cell phone instead. I think that's pretty creative. This one, we just have the profile view, which means from the side of this guy's face, he's wearing a little red hat. She have the baby with the red uh, bucket on his head. Very cute. Very simple. This one, you can see, is very simple. They didn't really have all the details um, like that one image, but that still definitely works. I like this one a lot whenever there's the pets involved. So you have the woman with the book and the red cloak and her baby. And then we just have a woman sitting with her book, looks like a red scarf. And then instead of a baby, she has her cat. Love that. This one, 
We have the famous hands reaching towards each other. As you can see, this is the creative take, I think, considering the current state of what's going on. We have the disinfectant and uh, <laughs> we have the hand sanitizer, very cute. Then there's another version of this, which I love the recreation with the finger and the puppy paw. But this one is a super easy one. If you're stumped about what to create, you can honestly, this is a pretty easy one to do with the two fingers reaching out at each other. Or if you want to get creative and do it with your animal, that's also super cute. Then we have this one. She's wearing the animal onesie because it looks like he's wearing some animal cloak wear. And there's this creepy little creature in the back and she drew it on a post-it note has the creepy smile with the hand on the face and there's the glasses right there and then the glasses right here on her. So, wow. Attention to detail. I love it. And that is our last one. So yeah, today um, you're just going to do your best to recreate a famous art piece. Like I said, you can take inspiration from any of these. You can go back and rewind and pause the frame to look at the images and see if you want to do those. But if you have a famous art piece in mind or you just like to do some more research, I just want you to recreate the photo. So then when you send it to me, um, if you want to send me just two pictures, one of the original art piece and then one of your creation, that would be great. Um, I'm super excited to see these. You guys know how much I love art history. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.